Okay, so welcome to lab three. So we're going to do part one, part two, and part three. So for part one, it wants us to display the current access limits uh, of the robot. Remember, every robot will have its own access uh, configuration. Uh, so to display the current access limits, we're going to press the menu key, and we're going to uh, scroll down to uh, next, press enter. And here we're going to go down to the uh, system. Okay, our system, and then you see item number four is the access limits. We're going to scroll down to access limits and press enter. So this is the information that you'll need to uh, fill in to your uh, part one of your lab uh, question. So it shows you the, all the limits for each uh, joint, joint one up to joint uh, six. All right, so everything here is in degrees. So when you see DG, that means uh, degrees. Okay, so that is part one of your lab number three. Okay, so for part number two, it says viewing the uh, version identification information. You need to uh, display those uh, numbers. For example, item one, display the version ID information. So to get to that uh, menu, you're going to go to a menu and we're going to go down here to uh, set up. Sorry, we're going to go to the next enter. And here we're going to go to the uh, status. And you see item number one, two, it says version ID. So we're going to go over to the right and go down and select the version ID and press enter. So here you have, you have all the information from one to 11. Now there's actually more items. So use this information uh, to fill out uh, the part two of your lab. So I'm going to scroll down so you can get uh, all the information that is listed here. So this is up to 11. So now we have the other part uh, information. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, 23, and back. Okay, so make sure you uh, take whatever information you need from this and fill in the part two of your uh, lab. Okay, so for part three, we'll have to create some frames. We need to do the tool frame and user frame. So the tool frame is normally the one that is defining the tool center point for the tool. Every tool will need a tool center point. And the user frame is the user frame that is created on the object uh, close to the uh, you know, workpiece that you're going to be working on. So let's do the uh, tool frame first. So for the tool frame, we're going to go to menu and we're going to go down up to setup. And we're going to go to number four, which is frames. So we're going to go down uh, to the right and then go to number four, press enter. Okay, so here we have, uh, right now it's showing us the tool frame. But if you want to list all the uh, frames, you can click on other. And so you have tool frame and you also have the user frame. So if you press enter, so these are the user frames, okay? And if you go to other, you can go back to tool frame, press enter. Okay, so here, let us uh, say we pick number three. And we want to define our own tool frame for that for this particular tool. We already have one here, which is the default one, for which is called pointer. Uh, but we're going to create our own from scratch. So we're going to select number three and press enter. And let us say we give it a uh, name. So we're going to press enter. And let's go down to keyboard, press enter, and we can uh, type enter. And sorry, go down, keyboard. And so let us give it a name. So let's call it, uh, let's say, for example, lab three tool. All right, so lab three tool and exit. 
So now we have a new tool, TCP point, which we will refer to as lab3 tool. So now we need to select the method for and define this. We're going to go to the method here, and we're going to use the three-point method. All right, so we're going to go to three-point method, and we're going to press enter. And so we have the name. Now we have point one, point two, and point three. So this is similar to your lab number two. We're going to select one point on top, one on the left, one on the right. All right, so let's go to the point. Uh, select point one. And make sure you're in the world frame. So this is in world right now. So as you know, you can switch to uh, different uh, uh, options here. So we have tool. Uh, here is user, joint, uh, jog, and then we have world, and then tool. Right, so we're going to go to the world, okay, to be because it's easier to program, and we're going to set our speed. Make sure your speed is about five, and let's zoom in here. And I'm going to go down in Z. So let it, uh, let's move the tool down in Z. So remember, you want the tool tip to be touching the uh, tool, sorry, this uh, needle uh, tip. So we're going to go down and let me uh, stop it. Let's zoom in so we can probably move a little bit more. So I'm going to reduce the speed to maybe 1%. Okay, uh, that looks uh, probably a little bit off. So we can probably make this fine. And let's go down. Okay, and now we can probably move it in Y. Oops, that was too much. All right, so I can probably reduce the speed even further. Okay, and Yeah, that should be good enough. And as long as you're uh, close to the point, uh, that's uh, okay, probably a little bit maybe in X. You can see that's a little bit off in X. So let's move it in X, positive X. Until we get it to, there we go. All right, so we're kind of uh, on top, so that should be good enough. Now we'll we'll see that we, we, you know, again when in real life you can try it and get as close as possible. All right, so that's going to be our point number one. And now when you're done that, you're going to uh, press the uh, shift key, and you're going to hit the record button. So press this record key here, soft key, and you can see it says recorded. So it's recorded the uh, first point. So let's scroll down to the second point. Sorry, shift. Let's go down to the second one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this uh, tool uh, by about uh, maybe 45 degrees. So we're going to use this quick rotate. And so let's say we rotate this by maybe, uh, sorry, we're going to rotate uh, joint number four by probably about uh, 90 degrees. Okay, so there we go. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to jog this using again the world and make sure we have the tip there. So let us uh, change the speed. Maybe make it about 5%. And so now let us try to jog it in Y. All right, so we're going to we're getting close. Okay, we're kind of close. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Let's move it in Z. Sorry, negative Z. Okay, we're close. I'm going to stop. Okay, so now we need to move it to probably in X. Uh, 
and stop. All right, so we're getting there. We're getting there. And so now I'm probably in. Let's reduce the speed, maybe 1%. Let's try Y. Okay, and then uh, Z. Okay, so you can see we're almost there. Uh, probably next. All right. Okay. Yep. So you can see we're uh, we're touching the tip. Maybe we need to go up a little bit. Uh, let me reduce the speed to find. Okay. I think that's good. that should be good enough. All right. So that is our uh, second position. And so once we're in the second position, uh, what we can do is record it. So I'm going to. Uh, press the shift key and record all right so it's recorded the second position so now let's do that for the uh, third point so let's uh, press the shift key to exit and let's go down to the third point and now let's uh, go to our position and let us change this let's make this uh, 90 degrees and uh, let's hit move to Okay, so now you can see that uh, we're on the other side. So now we just need to jog it. So let's jog it. So I'm going to jog it in Y. Oh, so let's change the speed. So probably 5%. And let's bring it slowly over there. You can see it takes a little bit time to get there. Okay, so I'm going to stop it. Now rotate. Now I need to move it in X, so positive X. Stop it. And probably I need to move it in uh, Y a little bit and stop it. And so it, uh, okay, so we can probably move a little bit in Z. Yep, that's good. Let me reduce the speed to 1%. And let's try moving it a little slower. Okay, stop it. And probably, okay. So that kind of uh, is close to where we want it to be. All right, and so let's zoom in. Okay, so now we're in our third point and we're going to say uh, shift and record. So it's recorded uh, and it has a, so it says new position is calculated. Okay, uh, so now we can uh, check this here. So we can go back to our frames. Sorry, go to our method. Uh, sorry, let's actually go to uh, previous. And so now you can see we have lab two, lab three tool. And so here you can see we have a couple of errors. Uh, so if you select that, you can see X is 0.3, Y is point, negative 0 0.6, and Z is uh, 180. So we were kind of accurate with the Z, uh, 180, but for the Y uh, and X, we can see we're a little bit off. Technically, this value should be zero and zero, but that's okay. It just shows you that uh, when we're jogging it, uh, you know, there's obviously some problems with uh, trying to get to the point perfectly. So this is what you'll have to uh, mention in your report. All right, so this is how you create a tool frame. So right now we have a tool frame and uh, we're actually in tool lab three tool. Now let's uh, say we go back to our zero, zero position. So I'm going to set this to zero, uh, zero, zero for all the joints, zero, except for joint number five, we're going to enter negative 90 and let's say move to. Now, if you try to uh, rotate this tool, uh, cool thing about this, 
this is if you put your hand here and you see you get this uh, rotation option you can see what happens it actually rotates uh, about that point right you can rotate about that point because this has a two TCP uh, tool point okay so that's why you're able to do that so the tool will try to uh, rotate about that point okay so that's uh, that's the advantage of using this TC remember every tool will need to have a TCP point or a tool point okay so let's set this back to uh, zero zero zeros for all the joints except uh, joint number five which is going to be uh, negative uh, 90 and this is going to be zero as well move to okay so now we are going back to our uh, home position so this second part is saying we need to create a user frame so normally we create a user frame on a fixture or a table uh, on the part itself so before we do that, let us uh, import the part. So I'm going to close this uh, flex pendant. Uh, we can leave it and then we can actually uh, add the part. So let's go to uh, let's go to the table here and let's add some parts. So we're going to go to parts, right click, add part from CAD library. And we're going to go to uh, others. And nope, so we're going to go to obstacles. Nope probably under fixtures yeah it's under fixtures and it's table so we're going to go to table and there are quite a number of table tables here uh, let's pick this one here table with leg all right uh, let's click on okay and we're going to say high quality click on okay so we should uh, get the table into our workspace it's just uh, loading up there we go now you see the table over here uh, let us try to uh, drag this. Uh, you can see here clearly it's uh, the angle of rotation is upside down. So let's try to rotate this. Let's try 90 degrees about R. Nope, that didn't work. So let's send it back to zero. Let's try 90 degrees about uh, P. No, that's, uh, so it should be 90 degrees about W. All right, so that that uh, that works. So let us uh, bring this up, and we're going to move it to there, over there. Okay, so now let us uh, set this uh, table. Um, well, let's cancel this. Actually, you know what? I don't like this because I see this uh, frame here. So I'm going to say no and let me delete this. So let me go here and delete table with legs. I go show. Sure. Yep. Let's look for another table. So let's go to fixtures, right click, add fixture, CAD library, and let's look for table and i'm going to look for a different table okay so let's go down the list all right let's get uh, table 21 click on okay all right so now we have table 21 let us try to uh, drag it and bring it down and let us say we bring it over here and move it there so if you look at this it's above the ground so that's the z value let's try 880 for this and zoom in so you can see the table is still a little bit below so let's try uh, maybe 900 and it's slowly coming up, you can see there. So it's probably a thousand. Let's try a thousand. Okay, so thousand is is too high, right? You can see the table is too high. So it's probably let's say nine fifty. Nope. So let's try nine eighty. 
All right, so let's say 930. Okay, so getting it slowly, maybe 920. Okay, so I don't see that, so 900. Okay, so probably 905. So nine, ten maybe. Uh, so kind of close. All right, so that's fine. So we're just going to click on OK and let us try to get this uh, table close to the robot. So I'm going to move it here and move it a little bit more to that side. And I'm just going to, uh, you know, Move it a little bit more closer to the needle, maybe somewhere there. Okay, so that looks fine. Probably a little bit closer there. Okay, so that uh, should be good. Uh, let's actually move it over there. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, so now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a user frame. So we're going to create a user frame at this corner and uh, define uh, the user frame, okay? So that's what the uh, second part of the question uh, asks us to do under part three. So to create a uh, user frame, we're going to go to, uh, let's go to method. So let's go to type. Uh, we can actually do previous and we can say other. And now let's go to user and uh, press enter. And so here we have a default table frame, uh, which is this point here, which has already been created for us. We want to create a new one. So let's go to item number two, and we're going to say enter. And uh, let's enter. We're going to give it a name. Let's go down to keyboard, press keyboard, and let's call it uh, my table. Okay, and let's call it FR for frame my table fr frame okay and uh, enter all right so now we have my table fr and now we want to create uh, a new frame for this for our table so we're going to create it on this corner here so we're going to use method and we're going to use a three-point method just like the we, we did for the needle all right so we're going to press enter and so we have our uh, name my table fr and then we can go down here to of origin point. So we want to make this as an origin point. Okay, so again, we're going to have to jog the robot. Uh, make sure that when you do that, you set this to world frame. So this is world jog mode. So world jog mode. Uh, you can change that by pressing your coordinate. All right, so now that we have that, we can uh, increase our speed, maybe 5%. And we have to jog it till we get to this corner here. Okay. So let us uh, do that. So let's move it in Y. And make sure it's closed. Okay, so I'm going to stop and let's move it in Z. Okay, and I'm going to uh, stop it. Now let's move it in uh, X. So I want to get to that corner there before I uh, do some fine movement. Okay, I'm going to stop it. Okay, so now we want to do that corner there. So again, as I said, you want to make sure you zoom in and uh, make sure you get it there all right so here we're kind of close all right so let us do it in uh let's move it in z first so let's change this to maybe one percent and let's do uh z okay we're almost there stop 
Okay, and uh, if you want, you can do this. Uh, you know, you can select uh, the the uh, front view. All right, so now we are in. Uh, we can click on this front view. Okay, so now we can move this in our uh, Y. So I'm just going to uh, zoom in. And okay, so now let's move that in Y. And I'm going to stop. Let's, uh, let me reduce the speed to five. Uh, let me uh, move it down instead. Okay, so that is close. Now let me move it to the other side. So we can change this view. It's probably uh, here. Nope, it's uh, this one. Was, let's select it from the other side. Okay, that's better. Okay. Okay, so let us get it uh, to the corner there. Okay, and so it's probably going to be, all right, so X, we're going to get it to the corner. There we go. Okay, so we're kind of close. Uh, you know, it's, probably we can move it a little bit more in Y, as I can see. So let's, uh, let me just jog it a little bit in Y, not the other way. Okay, so there we go, right? So now we have that corner point. So we need to record that corner point. So you can see we're just going to jog it. All right, so that's uh, our origin point. Let's say record. Oh, sorry, we have to press the shift key and record. So it's recorded. That's asking us for the X direction. So X direction is this way and the Y direction is this way. So to we're going to uh, scroll down X direction. And here, since we're already in the world, uh, uh, a jogging mode. So what we can do is now we can move it uh, along the X direction here. So let's say we increase the speed, let's say maybe two, three, five percent, and let's move it in positive X. You don't have to go all the way up to the end of the table. You can go along the X direction and uh, halfway and stop, right? So that's our X direction, and then we can say uh, record. So shift key, record, so it's recorded. Now we need to go back and then do the Y direction. So let us uh, press the shift key again, deactivate it, go down to a Y direction. And now let's uh, move it back in X, and then we'll try to jog it in Y. So just moving it back. And stop. Okay, so probably let's uh, fine, make it fine. And make sure it's at the tip. Okay, so that should be good. All right, so now what we're going to do is now we're going to shift it along the Y. So we want to. Uh, Rotate that, okay. So now let's uh, increase the speed maybe a little bit to maybe four or five percent. And let's move it along the Y direction. So we just go about halfway and then stop. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there and I'm going to press the shift key and record. Okay, so now it's recorded the X, Y, and uh, X direction, Y direction, also the origin point. 
All right, so now we have our uh, new uh, user frame. So our user frame should be defined over here. So let's set this robot back to its home position. So I'm going to enter all zeros here, except for my joint number five. I'm going to enter 90 degrees, join six zero zero and move two. Okay, so now we have our new uh, user frame called my table uh, FR. So if you want to visualize and see where it is, uh, you should be able to find it over here. So let's go in here and look for it. So it should be under variables. I'm sorry. Now your user frames and you see my table. Uh, it actually shows you here. It displays that over at the corner. So now our user frame is now at this location. So you can select it. Um, if you select the first one, which was a default one, it's over here. Right, and this is our new uh, table, my table frame. Okay, so you can actually now see it. And you can, if you want, you can look at the properties. And if you click on edit and click on OK, you'll actually be able to see the uh, uh, the uh, plane that it's actually in. So let me do that again, my table, and click on uh, edit. So you can see it's over here. And if you know the exact coordinates, you can also manually enter those numbers here. So if you know the exact position, you can manually enter the X, Y, and Z coordinates for that frame, which is your user frame, okay? So this is the uh, user frame. It shows you where the user frame is. All right, so that is your uh, part three, uh, question number two. All right, so with that, we're done with uh, the uh, third lab. And uh, this is what you'll be using for your lab reports. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stop here. Uh, so again, don't forget your lab reports. Uh, make sure you take snapshots of all the steps and then use that in your lab report. All right, so hope you've uh, enjoyed uh, this uh, uh, presentation. So I'm going to uh, see you uh, again. So take care.